Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 6. We're going to be breaking down some new information, some new scenes that I actually didn't spot out and I didn't talk about in my review the other day to do with Godspeed and a new organization who you guys, if you've read Rebirth, you know who they are. And also we're going to go over a bit to do with Crisis, we've got a new casting, also that map that Jay Garrick showed last episode, we're going to go over that a little bit in today's video, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to talk about this Flash stuff first, right? So we had in episode 1, we had Godspeed, right? And Godspeed was a little bit strange because it wasn't normal Godspeed, it wasn't who they were looking for, it was in fact some sort of clone, some sort of experiment, you know, they weren't functioning proper human beings or functioning speedsters, they were, you know, fake speedsters, they were using the velocity formula and also it wasn't the real guy, it wasn't August Hart, who they were looking for and additionally they caught four of them already, so that's a big thing, but anyway, so that's what happened in episode 1, and the lingering mystery of that still goes on, we've had no answers about that. Obviously they plan to go back into the Godspeed stuff sometime later this season and explain what the four Godspeeds is about, and you know, the screaming creature, you know, how he couldn't even function properly. But anyway, so, last episode in episode 2, we got this scene where we were shown that Ultraviolet, the villain of the episode, was actually saved, and thanks to Peiji, he actually screenshots it, I didn't notice it in the episode, but he noticed that in fact on the guy who was in that photo in the room with Ultraviolet, in fact had the symbol of Black Hole. And you may ask who is Black Hole? In the comics they are a terrorist organisation in Rebirth and they are being likened more to like the League of Assassins or the League of Shadows, like from Arrow, and so I do believe in this, they're not going to go for a terrorist organisation, I think they're going to go for some sort of assassin organisation because, as they said in the episode, they saved this person, they saved Ultraviolet, and also they trained her, and, you know, they mentioned that, you know, she had been trained by assassins or something like that, so, it's sort of going to be in the sort of same vein as the League of Assassins and the League of Shadows, and so... I believe that this black hole stuff could link to Godspeed, and why you may ask, if you've never read Rebirth, basically, their storylines were pretty much in line with each other, they happened around exactly the same time, there was crossover between the different story, with the lingering mystery of Godspeed and what happened in episode 1, I think, if they are going back, which they definitely are setting up to go back to the black hole storyline, with this guy showing up in this episode, I think there is a high chance that they somehow link Godspeed into Black Hole. Whether Godspeed appears in the first part of the season again, I'm not sure. However, we know that these people are going to somehow play into what's going to be happening. Maybe this is all set up for the back half of the season. Maybe it's Black Hole, Godspeed, and maybe they create speedsters. They have all these formulas and they've created these different versions of Godspeed. And potentially this links into the idea of Red Death being the villain for the back half of the season. Because what happens if these Godspeeds have been created by Black Hole as use for their sort of terrorist needs or their assassin needs, right? And they're only test subjects and they eventually make Red Death and that's who Red Death is. I think that's a really interesting theory. Let me know what do you think about that in the comments down below. Also, with Black Hole being around, I think it's all linked because there is an episode later in the season, it's either episode 7 or 8, or it could be both, where we're getting the negative flash. So we've seen behind the scenes photos of that, and this happened in the comics pretty much at a really similar time. So I think with all of this, it's way too similar, because it's all from very similar storylines in the Rebirth comic, which was really recently, like a couple of years ago, it first debuted. And these storylines pretty much happened, like, very much simultaneously, or one after the other. And I think it's all lining up to be that, with this negative Flash episode coming, I think that it could potentially, you know, link between Bloodwork and whatever is happening with Black Hole, or Black Hole could be saved for the back half of the season, and I was talking to Peiji about this, right, and he had this good idea that maybe they are introducing Mina in this season, so who is Mina? Mina in the comics in Rebirth was introduced, 
she was a person who was struck by lightning when there was a speed force storm in the comic books and she eventually ended up becoming Barry's partner but also girlfriend. And so linking Black Hole to Godspeed and Mina and the idea that maybe she might be introduced is the fact that in one of the issues and it sort of continued on because she was working with the Flash they were sort of working together because you know she was very powerful and she you know showed good signs of being a good speedster she actually wait first off she was called fast track that's what they called her in the comics recently and so basically they go to this place they think this guy is godspeed and mina and the flash they infiltrate the black hole base which i'm talking about because black hole is obviously been referenced in last night's episode so i'm linking it all together and they begin demanding answers and they were able to stop him but also another storyline that happened a few issues later was that she one day went back to Star Labs, she found the whole building up in flames, and she went inside, she saw the bodies of many of the Speed Force trainees who just got powers and Barry and her had been training, and she found Godspeed trying to take away the speed from three other survivors, and so she attempted to stop him, it didn't work, Godspeed started to run around them in a circle, and so he's essentially trying to steal their speed, right, and it seemed like just after that they'd all died and when Barry arrived at the scene he only found the suit and you know there was no sign of her body or anything so essentially Barry thought she was dead Barry thought that Godspeed killed her obviously Godspeed did do that but he didn't in the end kill her she eventually came back and she was you know part of the negative speed force and after the speed force storm you know once she gained her energy and she would was able to absorb the negative speed force with inside Barry, eventually becoming, you know, the negative Flash, and that's a storyline we're doing later in the season, and so she has the same abilities as the Flash, but now had the negative speed force in her. So what I'm getting at is, this whole storyline to do with Godspeed, and the mystery from episode 1, the idea that who the hell sent these four sort of clones of Godspeed, and the fact that we've got Black Hole showing up in this photo that you can see on the screen. And the fact that they are training people. It's not such a far-fetched to assume that maybe they are creating Godspeeds. And they are sending out all these different people. And I think they're going to be a main route of a lot of the villains of the week this season. Sending out all these assassins and different people with different abilities. Maybe that links to the back half of the season with Red Death like I said earlier. And so, you know, it just so fits in so well, and I really do think there is a high chance that Mina gets introduced this season. So what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, so let's move on. Let's talk about this new Crisis news. So we've got the Spectre coming to the TV show. He was on Constantine. Obviously, it's not the same actor playing him, but in fact, it is Steven Lobo. I'm not too sure, you know, what he's done before. But he's playing Jim Corrigan, aka the Spectre in Crisis. And the Spectre plays a big role in Crisis on Infinite Earths. So you guys should get really excited for that. However, I'm a little bit upset because I really like the version of the Spectre that they had on Constantine. And, you know, they really just cut that off short when the show ended. And so I'm a little bit like, eh, I really wish it was the Constantine version. But, you know, I love the Spectre. He's a great character in the comics. So I'm really excited to see him on the TV shows even if it's not the Constantine version of himself. Okay, so the next thing before we end this video, let's talk about this crisis map that was in, obviously, last episode of Flash. So we've got this version of it here. It's a bit brightened up and everything. So essentially, they sort of told us that, you know, what was going to happen on Arrow last night because, in fact, next to Earth 2, it says the next antimatter appearance. So I'm guessing Barry didn't notice it, so that's why he didn't act. But is Harrison Wells dead? Is Jesse Quick dead? I'm pretty sure Jesse Quick's on Earth 3. Maybe Harrison Wells was visiting there, so I think they'll be fine. But anyway, so on the map it says Earth 51, Thaddeus Brown. So who is that? That is, in fact, Mr. Miracle in the comics, so maybe they were introducing him. That's really interesting. Next to it, you got Earth 19, the Breacher Agency. We've obviously found out about that. Earth 38, Supergirl and Superman, we know that. Earth 3, Jay Garrick. We got Earth 1, The Flash, Sherlock Wells, and all these different Earths, and it sort of details, you know, where the next antimatter appearance is going to happen. There's an appearance, you know, kind of near Earth 898, also 22 and 27. You see the sort of dots and sort of marks 
I believe that means it's sort of the direction it's going, you know, where the traces are. It's all around the multiverse, but, you know, hasn't destroyed everything yet. It's destroyed one of the Earths in 1986, it said. But yeah, so lots of stuff to get excited for for Crisis. Also to do with Godspeed, to do with maybe Mina showing up, but also to do with Black Hole for sure. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.